So they're just going to do it fast yeah. and they move on to the next race. Go inside, inside, check it out. So here it looks like it's just bananas. Oh wow, he just he's running with it. He'll be alright. Philly Dom, I'm out here with D. Say what's up, D. Hey, what's up, everyone? We got a little problem right now. We're in a marketplace that we're trying to walk around. What type of marketplace is this? It's like a wholesale a marketplace. Wholesale. You can buy uh, fruits, vegetables, well, pretty much everything in bulk. Here. Okay, but well, we having a little problem because we wanted to go outside and walk back in to let you guys see the whole market, but had some issues. So we um we're trying to get outside the market right now, but like she said, it's a wholesale fruit market. Okay, I think somebody else. What did she say, D? Yeah, there's two exits. There's one over there and one uh -huh. supposedly where the car is coming. Okay. Oh, out that way, going down that way. Do you shop here? No, this is the first time that I have been here uh -huh. uh, because it's very far away from my house. Okay. What's the, where we at? What neighborhood is this? this? I don't know the exact name, but it, this is part of downtown. Is it open like every day you think or is it just Yeah, it opens every day. I think I'm gonna ask. Man, it's an indoor, outdoor market. Alright, we made it outside. All right. We're just walking through right now. You want to cut in here? So what's some of the stuff they sell here? Cause I see, I don't just see fruit. I see other stuff here as well. Like yeah, on electronic. the outside, they uh -huh. sell pretty much everything, but on the inside it's just fruits, vegetables. Okay. Um, seafood, you can buy seafood in, in bulk, but on the outside is like every other marketplace. You can find just everything. And they sell, like the people go selling things in their hands. Like they offer it to you. Yeah, see, see. Okay, they sell everything. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything, yeah. But like the strong, the strong 
point is fruits, vegetables. Okay. All right. Okay. What is that? I see I have a lot of uh, pastries here. Pastries is a big deal here? Yeah, we really like to drink coffee and have pastries. Okay. So coffee is a big part of your culture? Some people even have it for breakfast. Alright, I had to ask you. Like, instead of having like actual breakfast, they just have a piece of pastry and a cup of coffee. And they're good to go. Okay. I had to ask you questions about um El Salvadorian culture. The other day somebody asked me on the live about El Salvadorian culture. What, what do you want to know? Well no, what do you what do you want to tell them about it? What makes your culture unique that you think and special? That's crazy. You say that and then we walk right up on the Yeah, no, that's tortillas. Oh, they're tortillas. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we're very friendly. You're always going to find someone willing to help you. Okay. Even if you're not asking for help. Okay. And, and why do you think El Salvadorians are like that? Because why do you think you guys are like that? I think it starts at home because family is a big part of our lives like you're always willing to help your family spend time with your family we're family oriented okay. of course not everyone is the same okay but in general we're very family oriented uh -huh. so if you're willing to help your family then you're willing to help others and then you have friends that become like part of your family whatever whatever they need you you help them we're very i don't know we don't like to see other people struggle you, you always find a way to help someone well, that's really nice you guys because you know the news and the media always paints el salvador as a oh shoot a violent place i almost hit my leg there guys it's crazy like as a violent crazy place but when i'm here i'm the opposite of that yeah, it's not always like that. Not everything is bad. Yeah. Permiso. Gracias. Oh, no. Ask them maybe, is it a way to get in this way? Is it a way? No. We could have asked just ask them where the way to enter. Como que vamos a entrar otra vez al mercado. Para entrar en el lado. Sí, al otro lado, ma. Ah, por ese lado no hay. No, aquí no hay entrada. Ah, okay. Gracias. 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 El Salvador, that not many people go to. And we're in the city of San Salvador, to be exact. Does any of your family go shopping here? Yeah, some of them come because they live in Soyapango, so it's closer for them. Well, tell them about Soy Bango, how far away it is or how close it is here. We're like, well, depending on the, on the traffic, we're like between 5 and 35 minutes, depending on the traffic. But okay. this one is really close by. So oh. Bango's like right around the corner. Uh -huh. Oh, wow, the fish is still alive.
So you said Soya Pango was around the corner from here? Yeah, it's really cool. Soya Pango is closer to here than my, my town. My oh, town wow. is like kind of far away. And you in um, <laughs> Santa Tecla. Yes, that's right. Yeah. We'll definitely go visit it. I'm look, I don't see, as soon as I said I don't see them, I see them. That's avocados, right? Yeah, that's right. There's a, not, oh, oh wait, that's some of them are. Because you don't sell them, so, I mean, for wholesale, they're hard. Because yeah. now they're going to rot in a day or two. Okay. And let them know the name of the place again. La Tiendona. Say it one more time. La Tiendona. Okay, okay, okay. Ah. So you're two towns away then from, two or three towns away from, from San Salvador. Yeah, we have to go through Antiguo Cuscatlan and then the whole of San Salvador because this is like on the other side of, of town. Of town. But I see what you say about the wholesale. I see a lot of uh, <laughs> what's that right there? Onions. Onions. And then with the potatoes. potatoes. Good old avocados. Let's check the avocados. These are good. Yeah, but they're not gonna sell you one or two. They're gonna sell oh, the you gotta you gotta have a whole basket. Yeah. How much does a whole basket of them cost? Let's ask them. Let's ask them. Ask them how much a whole cart of. ¿Cuánto cuestan los aguacates? Vale, ¿cuánto dólares? $25. $25. $25. $25. $25 of them for $4. Dollars. Yeah. That's not too bad. Yeah. $25 of them? $25 avocados for $4. Dollars. Maybe you need to get my avocados here. <laughs> okay. Think about that. $25. Before. Yeah, but they're gonna be ripe at the same time. Oh. So you're gonna waste a lot of them. Okay, okay. I won't be able to eat all of them at once. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to eat 25 of them at once. Okay. You can help. They're me. all gonna co stop Okay, I got you. I thought it would be a lot higher than that, but it's not as high as I thought it was gonna be. The thing is that over here, the price also depends uh -huh. on the quality and maybe they're not like the best ones. You're oh, okay. able to find better ones and gotcha. they're going to be more expensive. Oh, okay. It makes sense. It makes sense. Like most of the fruits and vegetables are classified. Would you say? Most of the fruits and vegetables are classified. Okay. So the better it is, the more, the more expensive, expensive it is. is. Yeah, because one of my relatives sells watermelons and that's how they classify them. Okay. There's the little the little ones that don't look really good. Mm -hmm. They can give, even give them to you for free. Okay. But then there's the one that they call first class. It's like the biggest ones. Uh -huh. um, and it has a better quality. That's okay. going to have a different price. Okay. Okay. 
I know there's a lot of stuff doing is hard working people, man. They just I see they got big on uh got big on the uh, potatoes. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole section of potatoes, tomatoes, onions. That is like the things that we use for that soup. For some soups you cook. You cook a lot of soup here. Yeah. Green peppers are also big. Green peppers are big. Yeah, we use a lot of uh, green peppers. Okay. Those are like part of the regular stuff that you buy for your house. So, Almost so all the time. So potatoes, green peppers. Tomatoes, mm -hmm. onions. Mm -hmm. Garlic. Garlic. Beans. Mm. I'm I'm guessing there's a whole section here dedicated to beans. <laughs> we might not even find it, but yeah. wow. if you see it, when those people are carrying someone else's uh, orders, so that's somebody orders in that little yeah. So oh, wow. if you want to come by here, uh huh, you hire one of these people. Okay. And they're gonna take your order to your truck, car, or sometimes even bus stop. It oh. is not uncommon to see ladies with a lot of bags and things outside waiting for the bus. Okay. And sometimes if the guy is nice enough, mm -hmm. he's gonna help you put them in the bus. If not, you're gonna see these old, old ladies. ass ladies, but they're strong. Wrong. They're just putting everything on the, like, taking it inside of the bus. Okay, and then they resell it from where they live at. They resell it again. It's a lot of options. Some people resell it in other marketplaces. Some people resell it in their house uh -huh. because they have a little store. Like for example, if you're in a small town in the middle of nowhere, okay. there's no marketplace nearby. Uh -huh. So you sell it at your house. You okay. It. Uh -huh. A lot of people come here because they also have what we call a comedor. Uh -huh. That is like a small restaurant okay. where you serve traditional food. Uh -huh. So instead of buying it, like little by little, they come here and they buy in bulk. Okay for their little restaurants. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There are people who sell small quantities, okay. but it's it, even then they're reselling because most of the sellers here are not gonna sell you a dollar of tomatoes. Like, so yeah. these ladies, they go, they buy a whole bag and then they start reselling it in small parts. Oh, wow. And that's how they make their money. That's how they make their money. A lot of the income in El Salvador comes from, this is called informal jobs. Informal jobs. Yeah, informal jobs. From this buying that book and then reselling. No, I mean, not necessarily, but informal jobs are jobs that you don't have social security, you don't you don't have a okay. retirement fund. It's like, like your own business. Street, Some people yeah. have their own business. Oh, wow. So they got to make it count. Exactly. And it's called informal because these people are not able to give you like receipts or... Uh, you can't get your money a, back. They, yeah, there's no register. It's Everything's cash. Look at that. You got the coconut. The coconut. That's good for me too, the coconut water. Yeah. You think it's I like, should get one? They're not going to sell you one. Oh, you keep... Yeah, I keep, I keep forgetting where I'm at, guys. Like, they're not going to sell you just one. You're gonna have to buy a hundred of them. Like, I just want to drink too, bro. Well, maybe they sell them, but I don't think that has changed. Oh shit! Don't worry about it. Uh, no, we ain't gotta do all that. I mean, you can ask them. When I ask them, we can ask them. Yeah. See what they say. But I do sell one at a time. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. So that was four of them? Yeah. They're two quarters. Okay. All right. We got some. So when we got them in Santa Tecla, do you remember they were a dollar? Yeah. If you come here, they're two quarters. Wow. Hey, don't run me over. We got some 
coconut water. And that's another thing. What are they selling there? They sell yeah. More coconut. Okay. That's another thing that you need to know about the market. Yeah. There's no manners. There's no patience here. If I know there, you told me to move just now. Yeah, because if you don't move, they're gonna move you, and not in a kind way. They're gonna run you over with those little cars. I got rights. <laughs> yeah, everything here is fast paced. Uh -huh. If they see you like looking around, uh -huh. they're just gonna move you in, yeah. in in not a nice way. Okay. Yeah, everything is fast paced here. Okay, we don't seem that fast to me from what I'm seeing. Well, maybe the day we came on. No, it's the time. Yeah. They, you know this. Uh -huh. This this market is open, I think, 24 hours a day. So some people come here and buy at four in the morning because oh, it's the wow. best time. Because nobody's buy. here. No avocados. So a lot of people come here like early, early, like okay. 6 a.m. You're late already. Oh wow! Because you're gonna find the freshest things the earliest you come. So the earlier you come, the fresher you can get Yeah, there. everything's gonna be, like, some of these, a lot of these products come from Guatemala. Oh, Guatemala? Because, yeah, because our agriculture is not big like that. Oh, you for real? I didn't know yes. that. Yes, so a lot of, a lot of these trucks come from Guatemala or other countries. Okay. So they drive overnight. Uh-huh. They're gonna be here around 1, 2 a.m. Like that truck right there. Uh, yeah. It says what? Some, uh, no, but that's how we're going. Okay. But trucks like that. Yeah. They're going to drive here. So they're going to be unpacking early. Okay. Super early. So if you want to uh, get things that just came in, you have to come early. Oh, wow. I remember that I I knew someone that had a stall here. Okay. And she said, no, by 10 a.m. I'm already on the house. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. I'm done with everything. But oh. she had to be here at 3. Okay, 3 a.m. Yeah, so she would sell everything between 3 and 10 a.m. Okay. I took the mask off, I just got tired of it. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> As clean as they possibly can. Yeah, I see them cleaning. But the amount of trash that comes from all the vegetables. It's a lot. It's a lot. The guy said, I'm on camera. He was like, that's such a small camera. Oh, oh that's just a sm such a small camera. Yeah. And another thing that I think everyone should know is like the smell here is not really no, it's not a good smell. It's guys. not a good smell because you know eventually one piece of food, one piece of vegetables is gonna rot, uh -huh. and it smells like rotten vegetables, <laughs> kind of. Uh -huh. And the fish section smells a lot. Too. But I mean, it doesn't mean that they're not clean. It's just a it's natural, just a natural process. smell. Like for example, cabbage. It smells really bad when, when it goes bad. Okay. It's just the natural process of everything. Oh, they got a little restaurant if you want to eat, you go. Yeah. Okay. Mostly for the people that work here. Oh man, it's a truck in front of us. Oh, 
So this is what you was talking about, like one of the, uh, this is what you was talking about. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this wow. is someone's order. Damn. They ordered the whole place. That's somebody who ordered too though. Or sometimes what happens is that, for example, they're unloading the truck, they're paying people to take it to the actual place where they're going to sell it. Okay. And now we have to wait until they finish. Okay, we'll walk over this way then. But we'll stay right here in this area. Well, not really. If he get out the way, you can move as well. Yeah, but this is gonna be fast. That's what I'm telling you. Here, everything is fast. Okay. They're not gonna waste time uh, they taking their money. time on loading. No, they're just gonna do it fast. Yeah. And they move on to the next place. Wanna go inside, inside, and check it out? So here, it look like it's just bananas. So it's just, oh wow, he just. Yeah. That's what I'm he's running with it. He'll be alright. He'll be alright too. Nah, he'll be alright. You didn't get it, he'll be alright. <laughs> wow. Bananas. Bananas and plantains. I wonder how much one of them weigh, one of them little baskets he just brought in. Ooh, I'm hundreds of pounds. Man, it's, a, it's like a corridor within a corridor. It's a corridor within a corridor. Yeah. We even had a hard time trying to find a, the exit at the entrance. We say, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was kind of crazy. This way? Wanna go this way? <laughs> the banana section, it's just bananas. Look at this. Ah oh, Lee man, look at what he's doing. Man. Wow. Remember that you were telling me that Eno Solomon would make everything a job? Yeah. Everything is a job. Okay. So you pay people and, and that's a job. Like we always make a job out of anything. Oh wow. You know there's people here that mm -hmm. work. Sometimes they're like homeless people or drunk guys from the street and they work. They make like, a couple dollars. Yeah, they make a couple dollars taking the trash from the people to the actual trash place. Okay. So they give them a couple dollars. Yeah. Or they run errands. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna see them do it. I'm gonna see the little process. Oh, wow. I wanna know how much one of them costs. And I see they break a lot of them, look at this. Yeah, some of them are Bus, hard. they bust on them. Yeah, some of them are hard. Some of them are hard. If he pulls out, then we can pull out. Yeah. Yeah. If he pulls out, then we can pull out. Let them know the name one more time so they know the name. This is called La Tiendona. The actual name is Mercado de Mayoreo La Tiendona. That is like wholesale marketplace. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Look at the old dude, he's ripped. Look at him, he's ripped. Yeah. Do you want to go outside and walk? Oh, they got a... Um, a let's walk over this way. Let's walk through it. Our car is boxed in right now, so we can't leave. You know that plaza or you never seen that before? I know it, I don't know the name though. 
Oh, this is like the back end of it. Yeah, this is the back end. Oh, back to selling like regular stuff outside. Yeah. They're selling tools here. And you can see that outside. it's taking you this way. It's taking you to the main city, like the most populated. The north of the country, that's true. Yeah, it says Apopa, that is the other place that I was telling you about, that is really similar to Dusoyapango in a lot of things. It's very populated, industrial uh -huh. city, and kind of dangerous too. Uh, every city is dangerous to you, Dave. I'm just saying. No, what I know. Say. What about, uh, what is it, um, where the president lives at? Uh, what is it? That's all gated community. No, not that. No. What's the name of uh, uh, Antigua Cusa Line? No. So that you know what a nice, what a nice mall is that and all the that. The thing is that we we'll walk down this way here. That place yeah. has a lot of again private gated residential areas. Okay. So they don't even sometimes they don't even let sellers in. Okay. Like people because. Like we've been saying, everything is a job here. Uh -huh. Some people have one of those trucks. Uh -huh. They buy a bunch of vegetables and fruit, uh -huh. and they drive by the neighborhoods because they know there's always going to be a housewife that needs something, and they don't want to go to the market, or they don't have time, okay. or maybe it's an old lady that can't walk. So they walk by the thing, drive by the neighborhood, uh -huh. and they sell the fruits and vegetables outside of people's homes. Okay. But when you're talking about rich areas, the communities are gated, they don't let those people in. Okay. Wow. Well, that makes sense. So you see these trucks are waiting to like unload. Unload stuff right here. Or, yeah, or they just start selling it out of the truck. People come here, they start unpacking. Oh wow, you can see, look, let's go right there and see it. Because they already know the price of How do you know this stuff? Because I told you a relative used to sell uh, uh, watermelons like down the street. The, uh -huh. the watermelon and melon place okay. is called the island. Uh -huh. That place is specifically for watermelon and melon. So you're going to see trucks full of watermelons. So right there, they're selling something right there. So it's black. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Oh wow, that's cucumbers. Yeah. How do you say that in Spanish? Cucumbers. Pepinos. Pepinos. Yeah. So the watermelon place is over there across the street. Uh huh. That one is just for watermelon and melon sellers. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. So pretty much you can find anything here. If you have a restaurant, instead of going to Selectos that is going to give you a high price, you come here. You come here and you buy in bulk. Trying to get a good thumbnail. Yeah, I think I'll use this as a thumbnail. All right, guys, we're getting out of here, but I wanted to show you the place with my friend D out here. And once again, what's the name of the place so they know? I'm saying it. The people gonna ask me in the description section a thousand times. What's it's the name of this place? Mercado place? de Mayoreo La Tiendona, or simply La Tiendona. That's and it. La Tiendona means the big store. The big store. And it's a wholesale. It's a wholesale seller. market. So you you gotta buy in bulk. So if you have an El Salvador and you came with your whole family, and it's like, let me stop messing up. It's like you came to the whole family with a stuff. This will be the spot for you. Damn, even right. a guy got it on his truck. Yeah. Why do I feel like we parked in the wrong spot? <laughs> I do have the feeling that we're parking the wrong spot. Out of all the spots, because we're the only ones parked in. Man, this guy's putting it in his truck. Now we just have to wait it out. Uh, let me see something. This is, wow. I want to know the pounds, how could they just moving fast with that? Oh, Casa, Casa de Cambio. Yeah, because like I was Why? telling you, a lot of these products come from Guatemala, so you can exchange money, quetzales and dollars and everything. Okay. 
Because if the seller is Guatemalan, maybe he doesn't want to take dollars back to his country. Okay, he wants he Casales. Because wants Casales. Yeah. he's going to get screwed at the border or if he goes somewhere else. So he like, let me just knock it out right now. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Because here in El Salvador, they use U.S. currency. 